गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट द चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ क्लास थ्री साइंस दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर वन आई हैव ऑलरेडी डील विद द चैप्टर वन फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अप टू पेज नंबर टू लिविंग थिंग्स मूव पेज नंबर थ्री एंड टाइम टू रिकॉल सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यूर होमवर्क इन दैट फर्स्ट वीडियो so let's discuss the homework and after discussing the homework we will go through the new portion of the chapter i have given you to fill in the blanks time to recall now let's discuss the answers of this and along with that you also match your answers the first question is dash are not made by man these are gifted to us by nature so the what will be the answer the answer should be natural things natural things are not made by man they are gifted to us by nature so it's very easy we have already discussed and in the chapter the second is all man made and some natural things are dash so what will be the answer all man made and some natural things are non living things we have already studied in the chapter that all man made things are non living things and some natural things also like for example sand mountain these are non living things question number 3 all living things dash and change with time so the answer will be grow all living things grow and change with time okay very easy answer now question number 4 all living things need dash to get energy and grow so the answer should be food all living things need food to get energy and grow five dash hold the plants to the ground which hold the plants to the ground soil so you have seen the plants now in the in your garden or anywhere so they are where the plants are hold it down the soil hold the plants to the ground so very easy i have given another question also that it what is natural things what is man made things so natural things and man made things you must have written in your copy now let's start the chapter the, the another features let's discuss the revise the earlier portion the we have discussed the features of living and non living things so first was non -liv living things grow non living thing do not grow the second features is living things need food and water the third features very important is living things move now we are going to discuss the another features like living things breathe so we all breathe right we take in oxygen and breathe out what carbon dioxide so in this process is called breathing living things need air to stay alive okay air is very essential things for our life the process by which our body takes in air is called breathing so what is breathing it's an important question so what is breathing breathing is the process by which our body takes in air is called breathing when you breathe in you breathe oxygen and when you breathe out you breathe out carbon dioxide most plants breathe air through their nose where do you breathe you breathe through your nose so what is the function of nose the function of nose is to breathe air okay so there are some other things also like for example frog so frog e frog how do frog breathe frog breathe through their nose and skin so frog lives in land as well as in water so how do frog breathe they breathe through nose and skin now let's turn the page how do be fish breathe fish breathe through special body parts called gills so this is a picture of fish you must have seen fish so in fish just beside of their mouth there is this type of 
structure is there that is called gills and through gills only they breathe now what about the insects name some insects butterfly cockroach mosquitoes these are the insect right insects that, such as mosquitoes butterfly cockroach breathe through air hole in their body so in their body there are millions of air holes lots of tiny holes which you can't see from your naked eyes but they are in the on the body part of the insects so through those air holes the insects breathe in okay now insect breathe through air hole now how do plants live and now how do plants take air plants also need air to live air enters plant through small holes called stomata so and where these stomata are these stomata are on the on the leaves of the plant so on the plant there are very minute this type of bean shaped like stomata and through these stomata only the air passes okay there is very one strange thing we breathe out carbon dioxide and what the plant breathe out they breathe out oxygen so this is a inverse one humans take humans take this one humans take oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide while plant this is in this is out they breathe carbon dioxide and what they breathe out they breathe out oxygen so plants and animals they exchange they are different okay what they take they breathe in humans what the humans take when they breathe in they take oxygen but they breathe out they take they breathe out carbon dioxide while in plant they breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen so very strange thing okay now so these are way we are, the living things breathe in air but does have you seen any chair any table to breathe breathe they breathe in or breathe out no so non living things do not breathe they do not take any air okay now there is very interesting fact zone fact zone is very interesting just read this one a frog can live in water as well as on land in water it's breathe through the moist skin so in the in the previous chapter previous page we have seen that frog can breathe through skin also and lungs also through nose also so when they live in water they breathe through skin and in land on land it breathe through lungs so very interesting now frog is having two way of breathing they when they are in living in water they breathe through her skin and when they live in land they breathe through lungs or nose lung fish there is a fish called lung fishes lives in lakes of africa and south america and australia they have lungs so we have learned that fish breathe through gills right but there is one interesting fish which is called lung fish they breathe through lungs they breathe through lungs okay now let's learn the another features of living things the another important features of living thing is living things reproduce what do you mean by reproduce reproduce means giving birth to own own kind okay living thing can produce more of their own kind okay like for example a uh, example cow what they breathe they give birth to a calf a small calf which grown up into cow what is this this is goat goat breathe through lamb so we understand that a cow can give birth to a calf which also grows up to cow 
goat give birth to lamb which also grows to goat so this we can reproduce the living thing can produce their own kind it's nothing that cow is giving birth to lamb is it possible no is it possible that cow is giving birth to kitten or puppy no so they give birth to their own kind just like them we as a human we also give birth this birth to a human not any animals right so that is called a reproduction animals like cow cat dogs and goat give birth to babies human beings also give birth to babies right birds fishes insects lizards lay eggs so this way we reproduce of our own kinds this is called reproduction but in birds fishes insects lizards they give lays to egg okay you have must seen lot of eggs Mm, it may be sometimes uh, the birds or insect or fish uh, fishes you must have seen the eggs of that they don't give birth directly to a baby they give lays to egg and that egg hatches to become baby okay most plants have seeds that give rise to a new plants so in plants also there are there there is a small seeds that seeds germinate and it become a big plant so a mango seed give um, birth to or reproduce or give, uh, in make to rise to which uh, plant mango plant a neem tree seeds will go to neem plant or neem tree so most plants have seeds that give rise to a new plant some plants can also become grow to their stem roots or leaves but living non living thing can reproduce no they don't reproduce to a new baby or new one okay now let's learn the another features of living thing living thing have a life span what do you mean by life span life span means certain age all living things live up to a certain age called a life span the life span of dog is 10 to 12 years butterflies lives around 20 to 30 days so we all they we all small puppy is there it become to a small big small dog then dog a uh, young dog then it goes to a old dog so they this is called life span we are also in human beings first we are baby then we become boy or girl then we become ladies or gentlemen or a woman and then become we become a old woman so this is a or old man see this is called as a life span okay so all living things are having a life span non living thing do not actually have any life span so have you seen any living thing or non living thing having first become baby then young fair young young woman or young girl then old woman or old girl is it like that no so non non living thing do not have any life span the approximate life span of living things are house fly 1 month marigold plant 5 months dog 13 years elephant 35 years mango tree 100 years giant tortoise so this is the biggest one 150 years pine tree 300 years so these years they grow okay now children i am going to end this video this is the second video just follow whatever the assignment i will be giving from this chapter this portion you will do it in your copy thank you